Hello everyone. Welcome to the Blockchain News Club's Cardano edition. Let's take a brief intro into today's crypto updates before going into the details. The world of cryptocurrency is experiencing a turbulent phase as regulatory fears have rocked the market, leading to a significant loss in overall industry valuation. Members of the Cardano community are looking forward to the long-awaited Cardano upgrade SECP. The over-collateralized stablecoin DJED based on Cardano has garnered over 31 million Cardano coins as backing. DJED now has over 31 million ADA in its base reserves. Charles Hoskinson, co-founder and CEO at Input Output Global, the blockchain technology firm responsible for the development of Cardano, shared his thoughts on the US SEC's stance on crypto staking and how they might impact ETH or ADA. The Cardano price broke down from a short-term pattern and is nearing a crucial support level at 32 cents. Before we dive deep into today's updates, please subscribe to our Blockchain News Club channel. It will help us immensely. Global crypto market cap plunges below $1 trillion as regulatory concerns wipe out 2023 gains. Regulatory fears have shaken the cryptocurrency market, resulting in a huge drop in the industry's valuation, and the world of cryptocurrencies is currently through a difficult time. Large virtual currencies like Bitcoin have been struck particularly hard by this flight to safety of investor funds. Specifically, the market capitalization of all cryptocurrencies had fallen below $1 trillion, to around $998 billion. According to figures compiled by CoinMarketCap, the market cap for the cryptocurrency industry hit a 24-hour high of $1.028 trillion. Notably, in recent years, investors have viewed the $1 trillion market cap as a crucial psychological level due to the possibility of luring institutional players into the industry. As it stands, Bitcoin has been the leader of the market declines, with the price of the cryptocurrency's main asset falling below $22,000. Recent market trends have effectively nullified Bitcoin's attempt to recapture the $25,000 level. Cardano, massive upgrade is all set to launch on 14th of February, this is what you can expect for ADA price. There will be a unique present for the Cardano community this Valentine's Day. The Cardano community is eagerly anticipating the release of the SECP update. After hearing about SECP on November 3, 2022, the community has been waiting expectantly for it to finally arrive. In less than a day, SECP will be available to the public. Tim Harrison, Input Output's Vice President of Community and Ecosystem, made a comforting Twitter tweet, which helped maintain the community's optimistic outlook on the market. The article seems to indicate that the Cardano Valentine upgrade will still be live on February 14th, as previously planned. For more than seven days, Cardano's value has been falling. The price level of 36 cents has become stable. Very rapid shifts in ADA are possible in the coming days. Cardano thought leader Dan Gambardello has previously declared that a pump is an insight. There will soon be a feeding frenzy for market share in the Cardano ecosystem, he predicted. Cardano's built-in signature technique, Edwards Curve Digital Signature Algorithm, is based on elliptic curve 25519. To validate ECDSA and Schnorr signatures when collaborating with other blockchains, Plutus developers would need to invest time, energy, and resources into adding support for SECP elliptic curves. Potential security threats are also greatly amplified as a result of this. Cardano lacks native support for ECDSA and Schnorr, making these kinds of operations more difficult and time-consuming without the addition of dedicated support features. This was all laid out by Cardano. IOG's goal is to make it easier to create cross-chain apps by enhancing existing capabilities. A variety of native signatures, including ECDSA, Schnorr, and Cardano's, will be supported by the aforementioned functions. Cardano will eventually have native built-in capabilities. Only until the built-in features have been thoroughly tested and deployed by specialists can the highest level of security be guaranteed. As a result, developers working with Plutus will have access to a broader selection of multi-signature and threshold signature designs. Cardano DJED stablecoin records impressive growth numbers. DJED, an overcollateralized stablecoin built on Cardano, has already attracted more than 31 million ADA coins as collateral in the short time since its mainnet launch. Currently, DJED has 31,496,011 ADA in its reserve funds. A screenshot shared by a Twitter account dedicated to the DJED indicates a reserve ratio of 515%, meaning that the ADA backing for each DJED is greater than 5 times its worth. Users are now able to create new Shen and DJED at will. Shen's total supply is 23.58 million tokens, making it worth 1.09 ADA, 
whereas DJED's total supply is only 2.27 million tokens, making it worth 0.58 ADA Shen is used as the reserve currency for DJED, and it is pegged to the US dollar. In addition, the ADA base coin is a decentralized support system. At a reserve ratio of less than 400%, the platform will halt the creation of new DJED and the burning of SHEN since there is not enough collateral in reserve. If the ratio goes above 800%, users will no longer be able to mint new Shen, while they will still be able to mint and burn DJED. DJED is always redeemed, no matter the circumstances. On January 31st, version 1.1.1 of the DJED stablecoin, created by Cody and Cardano developer Input Output Global, launched on the mainnet. Two more versions of the overcollateralized stablecoin are planned for 2023, according to the developers. To begin, with version 1.2, scalability will be improved with the help of Vasil features like a reference script. The second is a new version of DJED called 1.3, which will feature variable pricing and fees. In addition, a more modern approach to delegation will be promoted, which will release considerable funds. Charles Hoskinson says Cardano's staking model is safe from the SEC for now. When asked about the implications of the US SEC stance on crypto staking for ETH or ADA, Charles Hoskinson, co-founder and CEO of Input Output Global, the blockchain technology corporation responsible for the development of Cardano, offered his comments. The US Securities and Exchange Commission issued a press release about Kraken that stated, the Securities and Exchange Commission today charged Payward Ventures Incorporated and Payward Trading Limited, both commonly known as Kraken, with failing to register the offer and sale of their crypto asset staking as a service program, whereby investors transfer crypto assets to Kraken for staking in exchange for advertised annual investment returns of as much as 21%. To settle the SEC's charges, the two Kraken entities agreed to immediately cease offering or selling securities through crypto asset staking services or staking programs and pay $30 million in disgorgement, prejudgment interest, and civil penalties. Kraken, in a blog post published the same day, said it has reached an agreement to end its cryptocurrency staking services for customers in the United States. Today, two Kraken subsidiaries announced a settlement with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission concerning Kraken's on-chain staking program. Because of this settlement, Kraken has agreed to end its on-chain staking services for U.S. clients. Starting today, Kraken will automatically unstake all U.S. client assets enrolled in the on-chain staking program. These assets will no longer earn staking rewards. This applies to all staked assets except for staked Ether, which will be unstaked after the Shanghai upgrade. U.S. clients will not be able to stake any additional assets, including ETH. Kraken will continue to offer staking services for non-U.S. clients through a separate Kraken subsidiary. Staking services for non-U.S. clients will continue uninterrupted. Non-U.S. clients can continue to stake and unstake assets, as well as automatically earn and stake rewards, as usual. On the following day, the CEO of IOG posted a video update to his YouTube channel in which he discussed crypto staking and the possibility of it becoming regulated in the United States. Hoskinson said, It does not appear that there's any attempt to say oh well, staking mechanics somehow now make the underlying asset a security. You'll probably see a lot of FUD. Saying oh well, if staking is a security that must mean the underlying asset is. So Ether is now a security. Or ADA is now a security. Let's be very clear. You can take wheat, which is a commodity, or gold, a commodity, and put it into some sort of package or structuring where that package is a security or that activity that you're doing with it is regulated. But that doesn't make wheat or gold a security. So you don't have that transitivity there where what you do with stake pools could infer the underlying asset has a problem. We haven't seen any attempt to do that at the moment. Now, obviously, again governments are unpredictable, facts and circumstances could change and we see things the same time you guys do so we'll cross that bridge if it comes. But as it stands right now, the ecosystem is fine. So I don't think there's any issue with Cardano as it sits. I don't think there's any issue with our staking model as it sits. Unfortunately, conflation of what Ethereum is doing with Cardano may drag us in an uncomfortable direction. In a Wall Street Journal article dated September 15, 2022, the day Ethereum's merge upgrade went live, SEC Chair Gary Gensler was quoted as saying that cryptocurrencies and intermediaries that allow holders to stake their coins might pass a key test used by courts to determine whether an asset is a security. Cardano price cools after 68% increase, but is second phase incoming? Cardano's price has fallen from a short-term pattern and is getting dangerously close to a key support level at $0.327. The Cardano Network's native token is ADA Charles Hoskinson, 
the company's founder, recently debated on Twitter whether the Cardano blockchain should implement Know Your Customer Checks as part of its Layer 1 protocol. The decentralized protocol and Know Your Customer Checks, according to him, are not mutually exclusive. At its peak on January 31, the price of a single Cardano was $0.399. This was a 68% rise from the beginning of the month. After two more days of gains, the price started dropping again. A large negative divergence in the daily RSI had been forming before to the drop. There is a danger that the indicator will drop below 50. This is a bearish indicator, suggesting the upward trend may have reached its conclusion. As it stands, the price is near the horizontal support area at $0.327 and the 0.5 Fib retracement support level. This aggregation suggests that the region may soon experience a rise to 40 cents. There is no support below that level, therefore a closing below it could result in a precipitous drop to the 25 cents level. It could signal the end of the uptrend when the daily relative strength index drops below 50. Technical study of the shorter-term 3-hour chart indicates that the price is still correcting the entire upward rise that began in January. A 5-wave upward movement caused the rise, with the final wave culminating in a diagonal thus the wedge shape. If there is an ABC corrective structure, the current price of ADIA tokens would be approaching the A wave's low. It lies well above the 0.382 to 0.5 Fibonacci retracement support range of $0.327 $0.348. Because of this, it's likely that a relief rally will start once the price reaches the bottom of the A wave. After that, around the $0.327 support level where the 0.5 Fib retracement is located, the entire correction may come to a conclusion. In conclusion, the most likely outlook for Cardano's price is a steady consolidation towards $0.327, followed by an upward trend that takes the price to $0.40. Cents. This optimistic prognosis would be rendered useless if the price of ADA were to close the day at or below $0.327, which could send it tumbling below $0.25. Cents. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for regular updates in the blockchain community.